I definitely think we do need, uh, you know, to, to give the, the students all that we can to help them with their writing, um, because I, I definitely think that we struggle as a district with writing. Um, so I, I am a fan of, you know, helping in that area. What is the, was there a consideration between turning in and Grammarly? Um, why not Grammarly? Uh, that's one question. Another question I have is, um, the students are required to accept the policy of Turnitin. Um, are we going to explain to them what that policy is? Because before they can use it, they have to click a button. Um, and I think we, we should let our students know exactly what they're clicking. And part of that is that their work, if I read it correctly, would be uploaded to a larger database. Um, and then that work down the road, if they submit a paper that has a line similar to it um, in college, say, uh, and they have to use turn it in, it will come back that they are plagiarizing. Um, so I think that an education has to be given to the students of what this program is and the long range, um, uh, you know, uh, use is and, and how it's going to affect them down the road. Um, those are two big questions uh, that I had with the Turnitin. Um, I can give two real quick answers if you don't mind. Um, the 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 privacy policy of Turnitin um, falls under the the FERPA laws for allowing um, for reserving the rights and privacies of students in education. Uh, as far as the repository for all of the documents that are uploaded. Uh, we have an option to opt out of that repository uh, through the entire organization of Monroe Township High School and even individually in each class for each teacher to go in and change the settings that the, um, the documents that are uploaded are not stored. Um, so we have that option. As far as the, uh, the, the, the clicking of a button, um, I have not seen that. I will look into that further. I actually set up a student account for myself to where I went in and started uploading documents. Um, and I, I'm sorry to say that it came back with a lot of purple marks on it, but <laughs> I did not have to click anything um, to, to do that. So I can definitely look into that further. Okay, and then just one other quick thing. Um, what are the teachers, I, I know you said there wasn't disciplinary action, I guess at the administrative level, but if you talk to students, um, for sure, points are taken off um when things do come back that that there may be plagiarizing or there may be similarities and i think that's really important and that's where the students feel that this is a vehicle to quote unquote catch them cheating every student that i've talked to i know mrs bora talked to students Ms. belko Ms. bierman every student says the exact same thing that this is used for cheating and there are students that will tell you that they did not plagiarize it was their own work and it came back that it was similar and they lost a lot of points. So I, that is the concern that I know I brought up at the last meeting. We need to ensure how this is being used and, and across the board have some type of a standard for what teachers are doing as far as punitive damages in the, in the classroom, not at an administrative level, but what, how the grading is how they're taking that into effect with grading. And are the students allowed to defend themselves when they get a grade that's much lower to say, because I know that, you know, that I've heard that too. Students don't even get the opportunity to defend that this was their own work and they didn't cheat. Um, so I, that is where I think we really need to maybe help with professional development of the program, like Mrs. Belko said, with the teachers and explain to them that just because it comes back that it may be similar or there's similarities, doesn't necessarily mean that a student is plagiarizing. And, and I think that, I talk about it all the time, that is us trying to change the culture of the high school that the students are cheating all the time. 